That shit's quick. Jason Tyler, the first time we made love, you told me to wear a rubber, but tonight, I'm not wearing protection, because the nut that I shoot is full of a bunch of bullshit, it's full of a bunch of diseases, that's right, and this is a song that goes out to everybody who's ever fucked somebody on the first night without a fucking rubber and knew that you might get something but said YOLO and uh, whatever it is it's gonna be the comedy set tonight I don't give a fuck no politics politics are a bull bunch of fucking bullshit in this world right now we're living in a bunch of crap so let's just have fun with it uh, Donald Dump Clinton Dump Bernie's a sellout and you know what? We're still alive. We're crematorium from Los Angeles, California. It's been a while since we've been down here. For all of you guys who sit out here to see us, we appreciate it. This first song is called Parasitic. <laughs> Three years. 
The system is broke. Right? We're all broke, right? Shut up, man. Bitch, I took care of you with fucking Portland. Actually, fuck it. This song goes out to the fucking person with the biggest dick in the room. Michelle, where the hell did you go? Stone Cold Steve Austin bitch back there with his fucking jean shorts. This song used to be called Bloodweight. Now it's called Michelle fucking represents fucking Lincoln Heights all the time and loves goddamn fucking King Taco even though their burritos suck and their red sauce is fucking whack. <laughs>
seen crematorium before? How many of you guys have seen us for the first time? Come on, like these guys were like, yay, when he sins before. All you guys might were like, no. So when I say, did you see us before? Have you seen us for the first time tonight? Yeah! So I live on the credo that I give my soul on stage. I believe in politics. I believe in social ecology. I believe in being forthcoming up here. A lot of fucking bands will get up here and say, fuck her with a knife, and they haven't even fucked their woman with a dick. My thing is, this is me, this is my stage. You're gonna listen to me, if you don't like it, we can talk outside, not in a fighting sense, because I'm a pussy. The only thing I like to be beat up with is whips and chains. Dicks. All right. But a while ago, Crematorium was like one of those bands. We used to play at the Showcase Theater. We play at the Whiskey. We do all this stuff. And we were, it was at the time when death metal was banned from Los Angeles. No cannibal corpse, no fucking suffocation, none of that shit. So we would have to travel all over the place and do these fucking shows. And then Slipknot and all that shit came about and it became cool. And it fucking spit in the faces of us because we were trying to hold the underground together. And it spit in the face of people who were supporting this scene. So I did a hip hop thing. In hip hop you write a beef track. You would say, fuck NWA, fuck fucking this guy, this and that. So I wrote a beef track. I think it's the only one that ever happened in death metal. So I wrote a fucking song that dissed everybody that was on OzFest and everybody who said, it's cool to be down with the sickness. And I said, motherfucker, I've been down with the sickness for many years. Just because you're new to it, fuck you. So this song is called Testicular Fibrosis. Brought upon by the insertion of twig in the urethra catheter. It goes out to fucking disturb, fuck you.
a long time ago. And there's a song on there called Seasons of Nothingness. <laughs> it really has to do with coming to grips in a society where you don't feel part of. Being the kid wearing all black with a dog chain for a wallet and people saying, what do you got, a fucking dog in your wallet? What do you do, worship Satan? They're just trying to fucking live life. And like I said, I'm a recovering heroin addict. So I understand that drugs and everything can take a hold of part of you. And for many years, the guys in my band and some of the people that are here that used to be in this band, people in other bands had to deal with me doing that. Some of them stuck by me, some of them had to walk away because you don't want motherfuckers stealing your shit. You don't want them fucking letting you down. And I was that guy. I'm not above that shit. I will tell you that I'm probably the biggest piece of shit in this fucking room. I will steal your shit. I will fuck your mom. I'll fuck your sister. I will make her pregnant and I'll walk the fuck out. No fucking joke. That's me. But the biggest thing that you can do is walk away and become something better. So have faith in yourself. Prove to people around you that you're worth their fucking time. That you're worth their forgiveness. Don't ask for it. Prove your fucking self. Stop being a little bitch. Went into the corner asking for fucking safe spaces. And fucking going out there and saying, Oh, Trump won and this and that when you didn't fucking vote. Stop being a fucking bitch. Stand up for yourself. Do something. I know that I'm one step away from being that addict again. But I'll tell you what, right now, the first person who will take me out will be myself. So this goes out to myself and anybody who's ever dealt with addiction, who's dealt with being a fucking piece of shit and letting your fucking mother down, your father down and crying because that pain is going to eat you away. Be yourself. Do yourself. This song is called Season of Nothingness, the heroin sessions. Yeah.
won't tell you, let him take over you. Thank you. This will be our last song of the night. Give up to all the bands we'll play tonight, man. Yeah, I know those are like golf clubs and shit. Hey, man. Really. Goratorium. Blood Scribe. Fucking panties. Uh, Thanatology, of course. Our hermanos from down north, fucking south. Fuck Trump for trying to build a wall with those guys. Right. Bad acid trip. Fuck, really? How long have we been doing this? You never fucking get old. I'm up here, I've gone through like 15 different weight changes. This guy can still pick a fucking lock with his finger. Genocide skin from fucking Oakland, California, man. When's the last time you heard grindcore, encrusted, electro, industrial, nail bomb meets fucking doom, meets fucking all kinds of shit? They're down here and they're partying. Roxanne, you don't have to turn out the red light. Don't think I didn't see you. Everybody who played tonight, Jason fucking Tyler for giving me a, the greatest blowjob outside. And the best thing about it, he didn't let any of it go. It went all down his throat. Hey, so you know what? Here, here's the biggest thing. I, I rarely let these guys know it. But give it up to these guys for having to listen to my bullshit. I've actually known this drummer back here for 20 plus years. We started a fucking death metal band in uh, the Antelope Valley. And it was weird for a fucking Sicilian and a black guy to start a band back there. So we had to hear a lot of, what the fuck are you in that fucking nigger doing? You don't like hearing that word? Don't vote for Trump, assholes. So we had to deal with a lot of shit. And in fact, the crematorium, they had to deal with a lot of shit. Hearing me going into fucking Georgia, going up against the hammerskins and saying, why the fuck are you racist when you've never fucking met the people you hate? So this goes out to the band that's back here. Aaron Ramson, Aaron Cross, and fucking Ralph Cook for fucking being back here and letting me have this fucking thing and let me spout out my fucking bullshit. But I'm telling you, I have a method of thinking. I want you guys to think. I'm a punk rock singer who has a death metal voice. And I want you guys to go home and say, this world is pretty fucked up. Maybe I could make a difference. If a fucking reality star can become the president of the United States, imagine what the fuck you can do. Start believing in yourself, homie. This world is yours, man. And I just want to say, at the end of the day, when this world crumbles, and we all do this fucked up shit that we did, and Trump's up there sitting on his fucking throne, and all this bullshit is happening, remember, unless you stand up and make your voices heard, you knew the cost. And at the end of these days, when everything's fucking dying, and you're fucking crying and saying, I didn't do shit. It's time to stand up because you know what? You knew the cost and now you're gonna fucking pay the price. <laughs>
Thank you so much, man.